Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the third quarter of fiscal year 2024, United States Army Top Recruiting Company Command Team Recognition Ceremony. Our host for today's ceremony is the Chief of Staff of the Army, General Randy George. Participating in today's ceremony is the Commanding General, United States Army Recruiting Command, Major General Johnny Davis, and the Command Sergeant Major, United States Army Recruiting Command, Command Sergeant Major Shade Monday. Please stand for the singing of the National Anthem by Staff Sergeant Ethan Lee Green. Gentlemen, General Davis. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I, I got a, a couple notes, uh, but it's, first of all, it's great to see everybody. Uh, just yesterday, we held the Army People Conference at uh, at Fort Knox, and bringing all of our our wonderful Army uh, personnel leaders together to talk about the future. And the, really, the discussion was about our wonderful men and women in the recruiting force. And today. It's, so, it's such a pleasure and honor to be here to recognize our top 13 company commanders uh, with the, the Chief of Staff of the United, Star, United States Army. But more importantly, we have a lot of other, I think the Chief said well, he can hold a headquarters DA staff meeting after this because we got all the key players. <laughs> Dr. Schaefer, ma'am, it's so great to see you again. Das, uh, General Potter, uh, Chief Warrant Officer of the Army, uh, Chief uh, Anderson, just thanks for taking the time. General Chamberlain, uh, Budget, sir, thanks. Keep the money flowing. Uh, and of course, uh, General Collins, Acquisition, uh, Mr. Wachowicz, did he uh, make it? We got General Bennett, uh, it's great. <laughs> I see you in the seat. Amanda, as the BK, it's great to see you and uh, know that you just started the job and served with us in, at Fort Knox. General Wilkinson, OCLL, uh, thanks for being here. Command Sergeant Major Betty, uh, Command Sergeant Major Army uh, Reserve. We have so many wonderful Army senior Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> we also have with us, and I love it, and I know the Chief loves this as well, we have family members who traveled here to be a uh, part of this uh, ceremony. And so let me make sure I got, I think my aide uh, captured some of the names. We got uh, Josie Patterson. I think, you, there you go. Uh, we got Haley Gonzalez with Major Gonzalez. Ma'am, thanks for being here. Uh, Tracy Ellington and Tara Sturette, right there. Yep, yep, Captain Womack. And then we have Sandy, Hillary, Aya, that's uh, First Sergeant Disla's family. There you go. Oh, I see you right there. And uh, Captain Donnie's uh, lovely family. And uh, miss anybody back here? I got everybody? All right, that's great. Well, what a wonderful opportunity it is. And before I turn it over to the chief, what, what is it so important about our top 13, uh, you know, companies? And they're about, um, let me tell you about these wonderful uh, leaders, uh, company commanders and first sergeant. So we have over 278 companies within the United States Army Recruiting Command all over the world. Uh, we recognize 13 of our top companies based on both production, productivity, leadership, a lot of different categories. But today we recognize 10 enlisted recruiting uh, teams, two medical, 
uh, recruiting uh, you know, company commands, and then one special operations uh, team. They are from all over the United States representing New York, Florida, Kentucky, Ohio, Texas, Colorado, California, Illinois, North Carolina, and of course Puerto Rico. These, these accomplishments are just phenomenal. Let me just share these with you. The top 10 enlisted recruiting companies enlisted almost 4,000 soldiers. Just 10 recruiting companies in nine months. So that's quite a feat. And I'll tell you soon the world will know, uh, you know, all of this hard work has paid off. And soon, you know, really in the near, really, really near future, we're going to show what we're all capable of. And thanks to each and every one of you. And like I shared earlier, it's, such a, it's a wonderful day. Uh, the top medical recruiting companies boarded almost 151 uh, doctors to serve as Army medical providers. And we need doctors. Uh, I think we all need them. I think there's a national shortage. And our top special ops recruiting company, 412 you know, uh, soldiers uh, who transferred over to serve in Army Special Operations. Let's give them a round of applause. I will tell you, you crushed it. Proud of you. Thanks for your dedication. Thanks for stepping up when the Army needed you most. This is so very important. We, you know, we've all dedicated so much of ourselves to this wonderful Army and our nation. And like I said, because of your hard work, we will continue to help make this Army, continue this Army to be the strongest land force in the world. And so with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce Chief of Staff of the United States Army, General George. Thank you. Okay, if you're, um, and I know I'm in, nobody's going to raise their hand over here, but if you're in the Pentagon for the first time, raise your hand. Who's in the Pentagon for the first time, even family? All right, great. So when I just was asking um, General Davis, I first time I stepped foot in the Pentagon, I was a captain. Um, had a hard time finding my way around. I don't know if any of you guys, you, we'll have you back. Trust me, you're going to eventually come back here at some point in time. Um, but it was a great time to be here uh, with my wife, so we spent a couple of days. I'll give you one piece of advice. After I got finished, and I'm looking over at all the, all the spouses over there, I told my wife that we had a great time here. We were here for three days, and I said it was like a honeymoon. <laughs> so I will suggest you not use that. I have been, I have not been able, I have not been able to live that down for, for the last 35 years. So, um, like, uh, like Johnny said, we are so proud of what you guys are doing. And I was just thinking about this walking down the hall yesterday. I had. Um, Sergeant Major of the Army and I went and spoke with uh, everybody who's getting ready to take battalion command. Um, command Sergeant Majors at the battalion and a brigade level. We talked to all the two-star um, level commanders at a course that was there at Leavenworth. And what do you think we start off with? We start off talking about recruiting. Everything that we do in the Army starts with our people. Um, and you guys are that instrumental to everything that we're doing. I mean, we spend, I spend a lot of time bugging General Davis and Sergeant Major Monday on weekends and, and everywhere else. Um, but um, what you guys have done over this last year has really been amazing. And it's been a tough, tough environment. And I think, uh, just so you know, we all realize that. I, I will tell you, admit that uh, I probably didn't really realize just how hard of a mission that you guys had until I became the vice and really started digging into, you know, what you guys do. But um, we are super, super proud of you. Um, our force structure, everything that we do in the Army starts with the number of people that we can get in. Um, and you can imagine there's a lot of people that are asking for more of this and more of that. Um, and we deal with that every day. So I just want to thank you for what you guys are doing out there and what you're doing to transform. Um, and I know that the other services are watching and learning from what you guys are doing. Um, and we've made some adjustments to things, but what really is making the difference, I think, is the leadership that's right here. And that's been my experience when I go out there and, uh, and visit a bunch of locations. So. Thank you for everything that you're doing. I also want to thank, there's some spouses here. I do want to thank you. The Army is a team sport. Um, what I also know, I think I compare being a recruiter um, is very similar. Um, and I was never a drill sergeant or a recruiter, but I know it's a lot of long hours. It's a lot of commitment. 
Um, predictability probably isn't always there because you're dealing with, you know, trying to bring people in. Um, but I appreciate what all the families do to uh, support um, all of you and making sure that you can do your job. So again, I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to um, pin awards here and do this. I remember my recruiter, so I enlisted in the Army um, in 1982. I hate throwing out that year, um, but right out of high school went and, and remember, and I remember my recruiter um, who is still local and, and lives back near um, my hometown. And I, it's, a, it's really important, those interactions that you're having and what you're, what you're putting in, you know, all the soldiers that you're putting in. So thank you for doing that. It changed my life. I know it's going to change a whole bunch of others. Um, but thank you for getting the best and brightest out there and getting them inside of our formation. So that's what makes us strong. So thank you very much. And I'm ready to hand out some hardware. <laughs> The following individuals are each being presented with a coin with presentation box, a Titan stainless steel watch, and the Meritorious Service Medal for exceptionally meritorious achievement and outstanding performance as one of the top 13 com company command teams in USAREC through third quarter fiscal year 24. They outperformed other command teams and stood out as one of the best of the best in USAREC. Their dedication to duty was instrumental in providing the strength for our nation. Their performance reflects great credit upon themselves, the United States Army Recruiting Command, and the United States Army. Captain Tyler Stott and Master Sergeant Jose Funes, 1st Recruiting Brigade, Brooklyn North Recruiting Company. Thank you. Shoulder, our shoulders are too broad. He's the same. But there's more. It's in the coin, too. Dang, that's a good looking watch. Captain Alan Moore and Sergeant First Class Renee Morales, First Recruiting Brigade, Queens Recruiting Company. Queens. Matt Sands. <laughs> Let me hand these out first. Thank you. Appreciate you. Get in the process down here. Yeah, that would get it. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you. Now we are to turn to the Captain Christian Malave Morales, unable to attend today, and First Sergeant Michael Lindsay. Second Recruiting Brigade, Aguadilla Recruiting Company. I was going to say, where, where is that at? <laughs> I know that. Thank you. 
with the penalty of it. Thanks for this. Oh, I'm not about to take care of you. You get this to me. Captain Sandra Donny and First Sergeant Francisco Disla, Second Recruiting Brigade, Central Florida Recruiting Company. Captain Madison McGinn and First Sergeant Lamont Peterson, Third Recruiting Brigade, Columbus Recruiting Company. Columbus. Is that Ohio? <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a Buckeye fan. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we're all third brigade up here, so we're mm -hmm. down now. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Lloyd Nathan and First Sergeant Michael Hayes, Third Recruiting Brigade, Louisville Recruiting Company. You guys, are, you guys, are pretty close to the flagpole right there. Down in Louisville. Yeah, they get a lot of visits. Do that? That they do. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Alabama. Sir. Alabama. Thank you. Thank you. Chief, uh, that's been around sure. about a year. Yes, uh, Staff Sergeant Joe. Tell him how many uh, uh, contracts he's put in this thing. About 30? Oh my gosh. We just have. That's it. First Sergeant Andrew Powell, 5th Recruiting Brigade, Western Slope Recruiting Detachment. Where's that at? Where's Western? Oh, oh, God. God. Where is that? Okay. What post town are you I was in Grand Junction. Grand Junction way out there. Oh, my gosh. Jimmy Barnett. Yeah, Jimmy Barnett, 60, 68, right? She's a little old. Is he? Nothing to do with me, sir. <laughs> Rest your hardware there. I just get to do this for it. <laughs> Thank you. Captain Benjamin Lang and First Sergeant Alejandro Magana, 5th Recruiting Brigade, Rio Grande Recruiting Company. Thank you. 
sir. Major Joshua Gonzalez and First Sergeant David Patterson, 6th Recruiting Brigade, Redlands Recruiting Company. <laughs> Is your family here? <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yes, Captain Justice Johnson and First Sergeant Michael Malecki, 6th Recruiting Brigade, San Diego South Recruiting Company. You gotta give some of your money back? San Diego? <laughs> pretty nice, pretty nice down there. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Captain Thomas Garcia and First Sergeant Scott Hollenbeck, Medical Recruiting Brigade, Chicago Medical Recruiting Company. Chicago. Better Sam. You're not? I am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm hoping they'll be good. Did you just go to medical school? You do. I think that's what I know. I've been rooting for them for a long time. Yeah, they have to go to medical school. Appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Captain Tyler Womack and First Sergeant Cassandra Edwards, unable to attend today, Medical Recruiting Brigade, Houston Medical Recruiting Company. Houston. Houston. Major Aaron Love and Master Sergeant Maurice Faison, Special Operations Recruiting Battalion, Airborne, Delta Company.
Congratulations to all of the top company command teams. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join in the singing of the Army song by Staff Sergeant Green. concludes the ceremony. Thank you for attending. Will the award recipients please join General George, General Davis, and Sergeant Major Monday on stage for a group photo.